Hey, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh Hakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom to the sincere brethren out there pushing this word and to you sincere listeners. Just wanted to go into a quick lesson. And uh, what you see on the screen is a quote. And it reads, no one will enter the new world order unless he or she will make a pledge to worship Lucifer. No one will enter the new world, the new age, Salakia, unless he or she will take a Luciferian initiation. And this was uh, spoken by David uh, Spangler, director of the Planetary Initiative to the United Nations. Now I'm going to read this again. It says, no one will enter the new world order unless he or she will make a pledge to worship Lucifer. Now, we know who Lucifer is. We know that Lucifer is not, you know, the spiritual demon Satan it actually represents, you know, Esau, Edom in the elites. So basically, you know, what you're going to have to do, they want you to bow down and worship them. And, you know, in turn, you doing that, you're also worshiping the spiritual demon Satan because they do the will of Satan down here upon the earth. <clears throat> it says no one will enter the new age unless he or she will take a Luciferian initiation. So you have to be initiated. And, you know, the way they're going to initiate you is basically by you taking oath, you swearing allegiance to them, you know, which is going to be through that RFID uh, microchip and again you know it was spoken by David uh, Spangler director of the planetary initiative United Nations you know and this is you know Esau's ultimate goal you know he wants everybody down here on earth to worship him to look at him as a god but that's not going to happen you know the most high has a certain group of people down here that are not going to bow down to him regardless of what they go through and the Most High, you know, is going to have favor on these certain individuals and is going to bring destruction upon this man for, you know, him trying to pretty much wipe him uh, uh, from off the earth. And what I mean by that is the mo th this, de this devil is literally trying to erase the memory of Yahweh Shai from down here upon the earth. But the Most High has reserved a certain group of people down here that are going to continually worship him continually bring out you know his name and his his characteristics you know and denounce any evil that's down here upon the earth you know and this man cannot stop this it's impossible for him to you know uh try to get these people to cease from existence there's always going to be a remnant down here which this is one of the reasons why Yahweh Yahweh is going to bring this destruction down here because there's certain individuals down here that still believe in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, that are still calling upon his name, that still reverence his ways, and the Most High is going to have mercy upon these individuals. See, Esau, he wants to completely do away with anything that resembles Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai like down here upon the earth. You know, so he definitely wants to take out the remnant. And when you read in uh, Revelation, uh, the 12th chapter, the 17th verse, it said that the dragon was wroth with the woman. And went to make war with the remnant of her seed that keep the commandments and have the testimony of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. So this is what really has him mad, man. Because why? This is the main hindrance to his new world order agenda. The one of the main reasons why he's trying to establish this, he's he's fighting against the Heavenly Father. He wants all, you know, remembrance of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah to cease from down here upon the earth. And who's the main ones pushing that vibe out? The remnant. You know? So he's, he's going to try to, you know, he wants to destroy these individuals, but he doesn't know, you know, that the Most High is going to uh, protect those individuals. And through these individuals, through the elect, through the remnant, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to establish a righteous kingdom upon the earth. The Most High is going to bring destruction, you know, uh, one of the reasons why he's going to bring it is because the remnant is down here upon the earth, you know, calling out to him, asking him for justice. This is uh, <clears throat> Romans 11 and 1. It says, I say then, hath the Most High cast away his people. And that's what Esau Edom has in his mind, that the nation of Israel is completely done away with. We, we, didn't, we didn't did such a number on these people that it's impossible for them to get back to their power. There's no way that they can get back on you know, uh, a good accord 
with their with the creator. He's just completely going to do away with them. We, we, we got complete rain down here upon the earth to do whatever we want to. But that's not the case. The Mosai has a remnant down here that's calling upon him. And also these individuals are not going to bow down to you. They're not going to accept your new world order. They are going to constantly shout to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and ask him to, to destroy you. And the Heavenly Father is going to hear their calls and he's going to execute that judgment. <clears throat> because we don't, you know, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai willing, we're part of that number. We don't serve any other power outside of the Heavenly Father. So we ain't going to take this new world order oath. We ain't going to swear allegiance to, to Lucifer, which, which are, is you elites. We ain't going to take the, the uh, or participate in your Luciferian initiation. We're going to stay true to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. And these uh, individuals doing that, the Most High, you know, he, he looks at these individuals with uh, a great delight. And he doesn't want that uh, uh, remembrance to cease from the earth. The remembrance that these individuals have of him, he's not going to let that cease from the earth. So he's going to protect those individuals. It says, I say then, have the Most High cast away his people, the Most High forbid. So the Most High is not with completely destroying the nation of Israel. Although you other nations, first and foremost, started with Esau, Edom, that's what's in your mind. You think that the nation of Israel is just going to be completely done away with you. Well, you think that we're completely done away with, that the Most High is not dealing with us. That's why you're uh, steadily moving forward with this new world order. And we're reaching, you know, the, the, the end game, man. We're reaching the time where this man is going to institute that RFID microchip. He's going to try to cause all these people to take that Luciferian oath, man, to swear allegiance to him, to participate in that Luciferian initiation, which is uh, receiving the RFID microchip. But you're going to have certain individuals that are not going to take that no matter what. And the Most High is going to have favor upon these individuals. You know, partly for their sake, the Most High is going to come back and deliver them from the, man's of this, from the hands of this man. <clears throat> it says, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. So Paul himself was a Benjamite. He was an Israelite, showing you that the Most High didn't do away with the nation of Israel. The Most High was still dealing with him back then. And the reason why Yahweh came on the scene was to bring the nation of Israel back to the Heavenly Father. Verse 2, it says, The Most High have not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Woe ye not what the scripture saith of Elias, how he maketh intercession to the Most High against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets, and dig down thine altars, and I, le I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. And Baal, you know, that was a chief uh, a demon that they worshipped back in the ancient time. You know, so you're going to have a certain individuals that are not going to bow down to this man and his system no matter what. And these men are reserved for the Heavenly Father to be delivered. You know, <clears throat> it says, but what said the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal, which means what? This man's new world order is not going to come to fruition. Because the Mosai still has a remnant of individuals down here worshiping him and calling out to him for salvation. You know? And the Mosai is going to hearken unto these people. You ain't going to have everybody that's going to take the uh, uh, the Luciferian oath. Everybody's not going to be with this man's new world order. You're going to have people that's going to resist this man. People that's going to uh, uh, reject his, his, his mark, man. It says, but what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved unto myself 7,000 men, which that uh, number 7,000 is just a, a complete number of individuals. It doesn't mean particularly 7,000. You know, <clears throat> the Most High has a set, certain number of individuals that are going to vehemently reject this man and his system that he's trying to implement. Now, if he was to get everybody on board with this, you know, pretty much the Most High wouldn't really do nothing. You know, but the Mosai has this opposition set up because he, the, it's the plan of the Heavenly Father to destroy this man. So the Mosai has certain individuals down here that's going to stay true to him, that are following, you know, the law, statutes, and commandments that he gave to our forefathers, you know, to the best of their ability. And they're calling out to him, asking him to, to deliver us from the hands of this damn devil. <clears throat> Just as, you know, uh, uh, Elijah, you know, he was calling to the Heavenly Father. <clears throat> uh Verse 5, it says, even so then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And that remnant is so important, man.
Because through this remnant, the Heavenly Father is going to establish a righteous kingdom down here upon the earth. You know, partly for the sake of the remnant, the Most High is going to bring this destruction down here. He's going to stop this man in his tracks, you know, because if the Most High didn't have anybody down here upon the earth worshiping him, reverencing him, you know, still uh, uh, reverencing his ways, there would be no reason to, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, to destroy this man. He, he would either completely destroy the earth or just allow this man to have his reign. But that's not the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. It's the intention of the Heavenly Father to establish a righteous rulership down here upon the earth. And the remnant is a key part of the plan of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Because these individuals have a, you know, a real special relationship with the Heavenly Father. You know, they, they are able to uh, uh, make requests and beseech the Heavenly Father for things. And he, he, he hearkens to their cause, man. This is uh, Revelation 14 and 1. It says, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him in hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads, which means what? They they got that seal. You know, they have the name of the Most High in their forehead. They worship and reverence the Heavenly Father. It says, And I heard a voice from heaven as a voice, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth, which just will be the governing body of the nation of Israel in the new world to come. And these individuals follow Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, wherever he goes. They, no matter what happens, they are going to adhere to the will of the Heavenly Father. They're going to keep the ways of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Their allegiance is to the Most High, not to this devil, not to the spiritual demon Satan. <clears throat> it says, these are they which were not defiled with women. Now, what is that talking about? That's talking about these different philosophies that's out here, which the majority of these philosophies are pushed out by Esau Eden to get you to basically accept the new world order, man. All these different, uh, you know, religions that's out here. Which in some shape, form or fashion, they all teach you to, you know, coexist with whatever is going on around you. But Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai said you're supposed to hate evil. You know, you ain't supposed to accept everything that's going on. There's certain things that you're supposed to reject. And one of those things is the RFID microchip in the New World Order, man. So this man, he, he, he has, uh, he's going to get physical resistance down here. And he's also getting spiritual resistance from the elect, from the remnant. From the 144,000, the ones that had the testimony of Yahweh Shai that's calling upon the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai to come and, and judge this man, you know. <clears throat> it said, these are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High and to the Lamb. Why? Because they follow the ways of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, unto the end, regardless of what, what situation they was put in. Their allegiance stayed to the Heavenly Father. And for these uh, individuals' sake, you know, partly, the Most High is going to grant these individuals salvation and establish a kingdom down here upon the earth. You know, so the Most High has to come for these individuals. There's no way that the Most High is just going to, you know, disregard these people because we just read in Romans the 11th chapter, the Most High hasn't cast away his people, man. The Most High is still dealing with the nation of Israel. You have a remnant down here who the Most High regards as being of the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And that covenant that the Most High made between us and our forefathers is still in effect. And the Most High is going to have a, a, a respect unto that, that, that contract that he made. Okay, now the Most High wouldn't be able to do that if individuals, you know, from the nation of Israel didn't remember that contract, you know. <clears throat> Verse 5, it says, and in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. And that's a, a very important thing, man, because one of the things that separate or the thing that separates us from the Heavenly Father is sin and iniquity. And this whole society that has been established Pretty much sin is at the forefront, man. Sin and wickedness is at the forefront. So if you are immersed in this society, you're going to be committing some kind of wickedness, man. You know, and if you don't have the blood of the of the land to cover you, you're completely through. But there's certain individuals that, you know, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai has separated that he has deemed faultless. So they're, they're, they're completely clean in his sight. So they are worthy of salvation. 
they're worthy to be uh, delivered. You know, they're worthy to be granted uh, the kingdom for the most high to fulfill that promise that he made between him and our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, so that's why uh, the remnant, you know, is so important, man. And this is why Esau wants to, you know, try to completely do away with the entire nation of Israel, man. It's the main hinders between him and rulership, his perpetual rulership that he wants is the nation of Israel, mainly the elect. Okay, because there's prophecies concerning the nation of Israel, which are going to come to pass. And those prophecies are going to be fulfilled by those individuals that do not accept his Luciferian oath, man. That just completely re rejected RFID microchip. So what does he want to do? He wants to do away with these people. But that's not the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. What do we read in uh, Romans 11 chapter? The Most High said, He hath reserved unto himself 7,000 men which have not bowed down the knee to the image of all. I mean, he, these individuals ain't going to worship you, man. I got individuals with integrity that's going to that's stand for my name, that's going to stand for, for my will. They ain't going to do what you want them to do. And eventually, I'm going to deliver these people. <clears throat> this is Isaiah 10 and 20. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel. And such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them. And see, this is, you know, what Esau Edom has been working to, man. This is the reason why he's going to get a lot of people to bow down to him and accept anything that he pushes out to him. Because he's going to put these people in a predicament to where you, you ain't going to have no choice but to rely on him. You know, and what have we been learning our whole time in this truth? We've been learning to trust in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, regardless of what we're going through, learn you know how to rely on the Heavenly Father, man. The Most High, He's in control of everything. So don't, you know, wig out or bug out when certain things happen. Let things play out through the Spirit. And Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, eventually He's going to set you where you need to be. You know, it talks about that in Sirach, the second chapter. So what this man is trying to do, especially with this whole uh, economic collapse that's happening behind the scenes of the, the COVID thing, he wants to push these people into such a corner where they're going to, you know, Basically, you know, crawl up in the ball, you know, and then he, he's going to come in as the savior. But but his uh, uh, method of salvation is, is just more hell. It's more hell. It's more uh, tyranny. You know, you ain't going to be able to do what you want to do. You're basically going to be a, a slave for him, man. He's going to have complete control over you. You ain't going to be able to own anything. You know, if you don't do what he tells you to do, he's going to completely erase you from society, man. It says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote him. And this is another reason why the elect is not going to bow down to this man, because they are not in that position. They don't rely on, on Esau. You know, they don't rely on the elites for everything that they need. They rely on Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. They trust in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And in trusting in him. The Most High is going to deliver these individuals. He's going to have mercy upon them, and 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 execute judgment on this uh this damn devil, man. <clears throat> it says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay on, upon him that smote them, but they shall stay upon the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the Holy One of Israel, in truth, and that's what the elect are doing. Uh, even right now, you know, that's one of the reasons why, you know, there was a, a period we had to learn certain things. You you came into the truth, man. What was the main thing that, that, that you know, we, we were learning the, going through the different trials and tribulations, you know, and, and going through that hell was to learn how to trust in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, because that's what you're going to need when all hell breaks loose. You know, when, when it's complete uh, chaos out here, when there's no there's no food, there's no water, you're going to have to trust in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That's going to be the only way you're going to be able to get up out of this situation, man. It's literally we're coming down to that hour of temptation where you're either going to choose to be with Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, or you're going to choose to be with, with, with Satan. You know, and Satan's going to have those uh, physical goodies ready for you, ready ready to go. All you got to do is, 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 is accept what I have for you, except this, this RFID microchip, man. Now, the things that the Heavenly Father has for you, you ain't going to really be able to see them. But if you trust in him, eventually he's going to lead you to those things. You know, you ain't going to see a whole plate of food, or, you know, or, or a banquet in front of you trusting in your house by Shem Shai. The Most High is going to test you first. You know, and what, 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 have we been, what have we been going through in this truth? We've been getting tested, man. You know, all kind of, you know, things have happened to us to, to, 
and why have these things been occurring to strengthen our faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah? So when the time comes, we know we 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 can't trust in nobody but Him. <clears throat> it says, "But shall stay upon the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the Holy One of Israel, in truth." The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. For though uh, thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. So only a select uh, group is going to return of the entire nation of Israel. A lot of Israelites are going to get completely destroyed, man. But the Most High has a remnant that's not going to bow down to this devil. They're not going to submit themselves to this devil. They're not going to take part in his Luciferian uh, uh, oath. You know, they ain't going to be initiated into his new world order because it's complete wickedness, man. <clears throat> the remnant is going to stand up for righteousness. <clears throat> it says, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. It says, for the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, power of hosts shall make a consumption even determined in the midst of all the land. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai, power of hosts, O my people that dwellest in Zion, be not afraid of the Assyrian, which the, the modern day Assyrian is Esau Edom, here in America, here in Babylon the Great. So the Most High is telling us, don't be afraid of this man. All right. It says, be not afraid of the Assyrian. He shall smite thee with a rod and shall lift up his staff against thee after the manner of Egypt. So that hardcore bondage that we went through in Egypt. We was going to go through that here in uh, America as well, which is another uh, precept that backs up uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Us going into Egypt again with ships, hardcore slavery. <clears throat> it says after the manner of Egypt for yet a very little while and the indignation shall cease and my anger in their destruction. So the most high is going to destroy these uh, people. May he going to destroy Esau, Edom. And who is he going to do it for? One of the reasons why he's going to do it is for the remnant, you know. It says, uh, for yet a very little while and the indignation shall cease. So the hell that we've been catching. What's the only reason why we came over here to this land is to serve out uh, punishment because we broke the law, statutes and commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. But see, Esau, Edom has a lot of our people, the majority of our people thinking different. They think that this man is just over us because he, he's better than us. So we got to play along and get along. You know, we got to follow his ways and maybe, you know, he'll he'll have mercy on us. We ain't acting right. And you see a lot of uh, uh, our, our people acting like that, man. They got that in their mind. You know, we, we just we just ain't playing the game uh, good enough. That's the reason why certain things happen to us. You know, we we got we got to we got to get on board. Now nah, you you need to get on board with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, your power, man. Because what's getting ready to happen to this man? This man is getting ready to be destroyed. Okay, the heavenly Father is getting ready to rain nothing but destruction throughout this whole land, man. You got to be on board with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. There's nothing that this man do is gonna uh, prosper. He gonna you know institute that RFID microchip. He gonna start chipping people. He gonna lock things down. You know. He's going to put you in a in situation to where it's going to feel like you, you can't do nothing but rely on him. But you you, you got to keep your integrity with your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai because he's coming back. <clears throat> it says in the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai of hosts shall stir up a scourge for him according to the slaughter of Midian at the rock of Oreb. And as his rod was upon the sea, so shall he lift it up after the manner of Egypt. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulders. So we ain't going to stay in captivity under this man. But see, this is the, the mindset that our people have. They think that the only way that they can get out is to serve Esau Edom, which is the reason why they're going to take that RFID microchip, man. And see, this is the real problem why Esau has a problem with the remnant, man, because no matter what, they will not bow down to him. And you go back to uh, Genesis, uh, the 27th chapter. That was one of the, the reasons why Esau was, was, was pissed off, man, because of the birthright. Now, if Esau would have kept the birthright, that means he would have been over us. We would have been his servant. So the way to appease Esau is for you to just completely act like a slave, man. The remnant ain't doing that because why? We remember the covenant that Yahweh Shai made with us, man. We know that we're supposed to be over him. We know that we ain't his servants, man. We serve Yahweh Shai. 
We're the rulers of the earth, man. We are princes of the power. And he don't like that. It really pisses him off, man. It, it grinds his gears. <clears throat> it says, This shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Because Yahabashim Yahushai is going to anoint us as kings and priests. Okay, so we ain't supposed to be servants, man. We ain't, we ain't got no business serving this damn devil. We're supposed to serve Yahabashim Yahushai. And the Most High is going to respect that uh, agreement that he made and execute it, man. He's going to make us kings and priests. He's going to set us up over everything that's down here upon the earth. Okay. And Esau, he don't want you thinking this, man. He wants you to think that you're just a slave, you're a servant, and the only way you're going to get by is if you listen to what I tell you to do. You know, whatever I say goes. You know, there's no other way for you. You know, that old guy, he don't exist. He, that, that's, a, that's a fairy tale, okay? That's something you, it's, you know, people made up in the, in the ancient world to control people. Really, I'm the one that's in control. Look, oh, look at the history. I've been here forever, you know? I'm the one that's been controlling things. Oh, look, look at the technology that I got. I'm on a high level. Who, who, who can come and, and, and take me down, man? Okay? But the remnant, they don't believe They don't believe this, man. They trust in Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. And the Most High has great respect unto those individuals. This is uh, Psalms 94 and 16. It says, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? And see, when the, the elect call upon Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, the Most High, here's their calls. He hearkens unto their voices, man. So what are the elect doing? They're calling upon Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. They're asking for justice, man. Because what, what, what's, what's the majority of our people doing? They completely forgot about the atrocities that happened to us. They don't, they don't want justice. They just want to get by, man. You know, they want to go to work, you know, get off, or be able to chill with their family. You know, and then that's it. They don't want anything outside of that, man. But the Most High has certain individuals. That's out here to call out Esau here to beg the Heavenly Father, the, the, the true judge, the true righteous judge of the, of the universe for justice, man. It says, who will rise up for me against the evildoers or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who is that talking about? Esau, Edom, the elites, man. There's individuals down here that's bringing up a case or, or that's, that's basically witnesses to the wickedness of the elites. And they're bringing this information to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. They're basically testifying in, in, in the spiritual court against the elites, man. Okay? It's basically, you know, like a court a court proceeding playing. Now, you got the, the, the plaintiff, you know, uh, 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 being accused or doing the, the, the accusing. And then you got the, the defendant, you know? It says, unless the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai have been my help, my soul also, Shalakia, unless the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai have been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. Yeah, because just what 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 can you do, man? Here you know, you grow up in a society, you see what's going on, you know, you see the condition of our people. What 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 can you do about this? You can't do a damn thing. You know, you, you see all these different uh uh you know groups that came up, these different activist groups, and nothing nothing ever came of it, you know. And I said, unless the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, have been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. Now, our power comes from the Heavenly Father. We know that the Most High executes uh, judgment down here upon the earth. So what are we doing? We, we said to hell with, you know, any of these other groups that's out here. Let's call upon Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. The Most High is the one that's going to execute judgment. You know, and that's what we're waiting for, man. And that gives you, uh, uh, you know, confidence and boldness, especially when you have faith. In Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, because you know that these things are going to occur. And the more you shout and scream and he cry to the Heavenly Father, the more he, you know, he uh, uh, recalls the things that are going on down here. The more he takes notice of what's going on down here until he eventually executes judgment, man. <clears throat> it says, When I said, My foot slippeth, thy mercy, O Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, held me up. It wasn't mean to slip. You going off from the covenant, man. Now, the Most High is going to have mercy upon us. The reason why we came into this captivity is because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But the Most High has always extended mercy to the nation of Israel. And the Most High is going to have the ultimate mercy upon us and remember that covenant when he delivers us, man. See, the covenant is not done away with. And this is what Esau Edom fails to realize. The Most High still has that covenant uh, active, man. 
Matter of fact, he's going to establish a new covenant between us and him. So you ain't going to have rulership over the earth. Your new order is not going to succeed. The Most High already has ordained rulers that are set to come on the scene and rule the whole earth in righteousness, man. <clears throat> it says, when I said, my foot slippeth thy mercy, O Lord, Yahabashim Yahushah held me up. And that's what's holding us up. That's what's keeping us going. The mercy of Yahabashim Yahushah. It says in the multitude of my thoughts within um, within me, thy comforts delight my soul. So the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee. And this is what we're asking Yahabashim Yahushah. You know, we're, we're pleading our case to him, man. Like, look, look what's going on. Look what these people are doing, man. These people say they represent you. Is this, is this the, the, the kind of rulership that you want down here upon the earth? I thought we were supposed to be, you know, the, the ones that you uh, established as the rulers. You know, we, we were the ones that you gave uh, the laws to. We're the ones that you made a covenant with. You're going to let these people rule? And, and, and look look at what they do. Look how they get down. <clears throat> it says, so the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by law. Yet this man passes wicked. Uh, 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 well, he, he puts his wickedness into law, man, to make it okay. You know? Basically, he, he uplifts iniquity and he justifies it by making it law. Oh, it's okay to do this. Oh, well, you know that's wrong, right? Well, in the Bible, say you ain't supposed to do that. Well, it's part of the law. It's, it's law. It's, 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 it's my law. I'm going to enforce it. We don't care about that, the, 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 the scriptures, you know? <clears throat> it says they gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. Who are the main ones they condemn? The elect of the nation of Israel, the remnant, the ones that keep... The commandments of the Heavenly Father and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, man. These are the individuals that he really has a problem with. Because if these individuals continue to keep crying unto Yahweh Yahweh Shai, the Most High is going to bring judgment down here upon them, just as he did in the ancient Egypt. But there's really nothing this man can do to stop it, even though he's going to attempt to. And that's what that, you know, the RFID microchip is all about, and also uh, Jacob's trouble, man. If he can't exterminate, the entire nation of Israel, he's going to have them pledge allegiance to him and the spiritual demon Satan by putting the RFID microchip in them, man, and make it to where the Most High doesn't want anything to do with these individuals. Because what's going to happen? The scriptures tell you that if you receive the RFID microchip, you're going to be destroyed. Now, if this man is able to kill off, you know, all the rebellious Israelites, the ones that don't want to take the chip, that seed is gone. And the ones that... uh Take the RFID microchip, the most high gonna destroy him so that the seed is gonna be completely done away with. And this is just what this man has in his plan in, in his mind. You know, this is his plan that he came up with. But this is not gonna happen. Why? Because the most high, he's gonna have certain individuals which are gonna survive as well, that ain't gonna bow down to him. And even if they do get uh put to death, the most high is gonna bring them back with a new body in the in the chariots. Okay? It says they gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. But the Lord, Yahabashim Yahweh Shai, is my defense and my power is the rock of my refuge. And he shall bring upon them their own iniquity, meaning what? All the things that you've done, you're going to have to pay for it. Just like the, 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 the wickedness that we did, we had to pay for it. That's the reason why we came over here. That's the reason why you were able to conquer us. So the same thing will happen to you. It says he shall bring upon them their own iniquity. And shall cut them off in their own wickedness. Yea, the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushai, our power shall cut them off. And that's exactly what Yahabashim Yahushai is going to do. You're going to be completely destroyed, man. And there's nothing you can do to stop this. Okay? Why? Because the remnant, they have awoken and they're calling on Yahabashim Yahushai and asking him for justice, man. <clears throat> this is uh, Jeremiah 10 and 23. It says, O Lord, Yahabashim Yahushai, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. O Lord, Yahabashim Yahushai, correct me, but with judgment, not in thy anger, lest thou bring me to nothing. And you know that that correction that's not in anger is the chastisement of Yahabashim Yahushai. Basically, the Most High putting you through certain situations to get you back in line, man. You know, so it's not a condemnation. The Most High, he's, you know, he's basically whooping you. Giving you a whooping so you know that you ain't supposed to do this no more, man. Okay, this is how I want you to act, not like this. <clears throat> it says, least thou bring me to nothing. Verse 25, it says, pour out thy fury upon the heathen that know thee not, and upon the families that, that call not on thy name. 
for they have eaten up Jacob and devoured him and consumed him and have made his habitation desolate. So this is what the remnant is asking for, man. Pour out thy fury upon the heathen. We 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 received, you know, the the, the, the thy judgments. We've been jacked up at your hand. Now we're asking for mercy. We're asking for you to, to judge these people. Look what they did to us. You know? Look at all the things that we went through. We turning back unto you. We're doing, you know, the best that we can. Baba Kushai, have mercy on us and, and, and get these people, man. Look what they're doing. Look, 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 look at the, the, the pride that these people have. Look at them trying to establish a society and completely write you out of it. They saying you don't exist. We we wanna we wanna uh, worship you. We wanna establish a society or have a society established where you are the forefront, you know. And the Most High, He likes that idea better than what these heathen got going on. Okay, <laughs> and this you know it's just all how Yah Bashem Yah Shai set it up anyway. You know, it's all the, the 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 movie of the Heavenly Father. Okay, but there's still certain individuals down here that are pleading for this. That's 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 you know. Calling for Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai to remember the covenant that he established between us and our forefathers. And who's the most high going to hearken to? Is he going to hearken to the people he got a contract with or the people he don't have a contract with? We bringing up the, the contract to his face. You know, when you go in court and there's certain, uh, you know, when the proceeding happens, you plead your case. If you have a contract with that person, you know, you, the, 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 the judgment is going to go in your favor. You know, and we, we, we got a contract with the judge. <laughs> okay, here it is. We in court. We got a contract with the judge. We, we, we push, pulling the contract up to the judge, man. Like, look, we, 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 got, a, we got a contract going on. You know what's going on? You, you, you're supposed to plead in our favor. You know? <clears throat> this is uh, Isaiah 62 and 6. It says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. And this is what's going on. There's certain individuals down here. That's calling out to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, the prophets, man, day and night, calling unto the heavenly Father. Okay, getting on his nerves, man, about what's going on down here. The wickedness is going on down here. It says, "Ye that make mention of the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, keep not silence." So it's a constant, you know, uh, uh, cry going out to the heavenly Father, man, to where it's, 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 it's you know, it's so constant that he cannot forget about it. He can't, you know, get sidetracked, which I'm not saying that the Most High can get sidetracked or is going to get sidetracked. But it's, it's so constant that the Most High, he can't get sidetracked. It's just, it's, that, that's, this is going to be his main focus because it keeps coming up in his ears. <clears throat> it says, you that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, keep not silence and give him no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. And that's what he promised our forefathers, man. He promised Abraham that he would make a, uh, that kings would come out of his loins, that his seed would get that land, man. The Mosai has not fulfilled that promise. What did the Mosai, uh, uh, he changed uh, Jacob's name to Israel. He's supposed to be a ruler with the Heavenly Father, man. It's supposed to be a, a righteous government that's going to be established down here upon the earth that's supposed to come out of the loins of Jacob, man, the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. That has not happened yet. So we want the Heavenly Father to, you know, uh, uh, fulfill that promise, man. We're bringing it up to his face. <laughs> Verse 8, it said, The Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, hath sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength, Surely I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thy enemies. So we ain't supposed to be in this predicament, man. And what is, what is Esau Edom trying to do? He's trying to put us in this position perpetually, which is the reason why he wants to put out that RFID microchip, man, to make you a complete slave. But that's not the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We telling the Heavenly Father what's going on. We literally down here experiencing it, man. And we calling out to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, asking Him to intervene between, uh, uh, you know, us and this man. Okay, stop, stop this, this damn devil. It says, "I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies, and the sons of the strangers shall not drink thy wine for that which thou hast labored." But they that have gathered it shall eat it and praise the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh Shai. And they that have bought it together shall drink it in the courts of my holiness. Go through, go through the gates, prepare ye the, uh, prepare ye the way of the people, cast up, cast up the highway, gather out the stones, lift up a standard for the people. What's that standard? The law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, the scriptures. And that's what we lifting up to our people. We telling our people, look, this, this is the way you're supposed to be walking in, man. 
This is how you're supposed to be conducting yourself down here. You're supposed to be executing the will of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. You're supposed to be relying on the Heavenly Father, not somebody else. It says, Behold, the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai hath proclaimed unto the end of the world, Say ye to the daughter of Zion, the nation of Israel, Behold, thy salvation cometh. And we're getting ready to be delivered, man. And that's the message that we have to our people. And this is what was really pissing Esau eat him off, man. He don't want he don't want to hear that. And we're getting ready to get loose out of captivity. How dare these people want to leave me, man? How dare they want to get from under my foot? You know? Well, if they want to leave, I'm gonna put all of them to death. <clears throat> it says, Behold, the Lord Yahweh Shem Shai proclaimeth unto the end of the world, say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahweh Shai. And thou shalt be called, sought out a city not forsaken. We have not been forsaken by Yahabashim Yahweh Shai, man. The Most High is going to have mercy on us. And what the remnant is doing there, they're, you know, calling for that mercy to be uh, uh, given to them. You know, reminding the Most High of these things, reminding the Most High of the covenants. That he made between us and our forefathers, man, to make sure that the Most High don't forget about it. So he, 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 you know, speeds this thing up. So this man cannot establish his new world order. This is a uh, Psalm seventy-four nineteen. It says, "O oh, deliver not uh, the soul of thy turtle dove unto the multitude of the wicked. Forget not the congregation of thy poor forever. Have respect unto the covenant." For the dark places of the earth are full of the habitations of cruelty. Oh, let not the oppressed return ashamed. Let the poor and needy praise thy name. Who's the poor and needy? The nation of Israel. Beginning with the remnant. Because they're the only, one, the only ones that really see, you know, something wrong with what's going on down here. <clears throat> it says, uh, Arise, O power, plead thine own cause. Remember how the foolish man reproached thee daily. And that's what these other nations are doing, especially Esau, Edom, man. They trying to reproach Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. They, they saying the Most High don't exist. Oh, the things and the operations that Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai has down here is something to be aboard. Okay, we, 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 we got we to gotta switch everything up. You know, or the, the way that this, the, these creatures are, the way this creature is, is, is wrong. We got to fix it, you know. It says, Arise, O, o power, plead thine own cause. You know, because the Most High, he got a, uh, a bone to pick with these devils too, man. The scriptures tell you in uh, Jeremiah, the 50th uh, chapter, that this man, you know, Babylon, is striving against the Heavenly Father by establishing uh, policies and laws that completely go against the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, while at the same time saying that the Most High doesn't exist. You know, just, just completely proud, man. Like the Most High, look, look. He don't exist, okay? And if he does exist, if this was created by the Heavenly Father, he did a terrible job, man. Everything's all wrong. We're going to fix it. And the ways, the things that he said you can do or the things that he said you can't do, you can do that. And he ain't going to do nothing about it because he doesn't exist, you know? <clears throat> it says, plead thine own cause. Remember how the foolish man reproacheth thee daily. Forget not the voice of thine enemies. The tumult of those that rise up against thee increases continually. These these uh, heathen men, they are, are getting more proud as the time passes on, man, as they move closer to that new world order. Okay? They're, they're speaking even more proud, man. Look, 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 we got it. You know? Well, look, we finally got things locked down. Nobody's be able to come up against us. Who's going to stop us, man? We're almost there. You know? When they start pushing the chip out, yeah, yeah, you know? So the most I got to do something about these damn devils, man. It says, forget not the voice of thine enemies. The tumult of those that rise up against thee increaseth continually. So as the time passes on, man, as we get closer and closer to this new world order, this man gets more proud by the day, man, because he actually believes in his mind that this is going to come to fruition. And his blasphemy against Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai increases, man. So we asking Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai not to forget those things. Just destroy this man. Okay, this man ain't about exalting you. He's not about uh, uh, uplifting you and praising you. He wants to completely do away with you. <clears throat> this will be the last scripture. We're going to wrap it up on this. This is uh, Revelation 20 and 4. It says, And I saw thrones, 
and they set upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai, and for the word of the Most High, which had not worshipped the beast. Going back to, you know, the, the first uh, scriptures I brought up, concerning that the Most High has a certain number of men that have not bowed down the knee to Baal, so everybody ain't going to worship this damn devil. Mainly uh, the remnant. And the Most High has a special uh, relationship with these individuals. These individuals, the Most High is going to deliver and fulfill that promise that he made between him, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. <clears throat> so what need do they have to bow down to the beast and, and rely on him? They rely on Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai because they're patiently waiting for that, that, that promise to be fulfilled, man. And it's going to happen. <clears throat> it says, And which shall not worship the beast, neither his image, Neither have received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years. And that life goes back to, you know, the law, statutes, and commandments being put in them and them executing that. And the reign is them ruling the earth, man. And this is what the remnant is waiting for. So regardless of what, what comes up, regardless of what things they go through, they ain't going to bow down to you because they are... Uh, uh, you know, true believers and worshipers of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and they know that the Most High is going to deliver them, and He has a kingdom already prepared for them. You know, so you know, with that, hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Double honors to the elders and the apostles, a great millstone. Shalom.